the name Landrundi comes from the Welsh word Llan meaning church or parish and Rumney is the name of the local river here. Now after the Norman conquest of Britain in 1066 the lands of Lam Rumney were given to the monks at Keensham Abbey which is based just across the water in Somerset. Now the monks built a small chapel right here. The hall and its 700 acre estate was passed to the Keems family of Kevin Mabley in the mid 16th century after the dissolution of the monasteries by King Henry VIII. Now William Keynes left the property to his daughter who married Thomas Morgan. Sir Henry Morgan, a close relative of Thomas, was a notorious and a successful pioneer. He called him that but he was a privateer. In other words, what was he? He was a pirate and considered by many to be one of the most dangerous pirates that lurked in the Spanish main in the 17th century. It is said that uh, Sir Henry was born in Lam Rumney Hall in 1635, but there's little evidence to confirm this. Now, Henry's reputation as a fearsome pirate was actually used in 1944 to create a, ban a brand of rum, Captain Morgan's Rum. And also, it was then turned into a film, The Buccaneer and the Black Pirate, amongst many other films, getting my court self caught there, were some of the films that based on the life of Sir Henry Morgan. The Captain Morgan Rum Company still produces the drink to this day. The Morgan coat of arms, you might be able to see up there on the, the wall if we zoom in, the Morgan coat of arms, dated from 1587, can also be seen above the fireplace in the main hall where five generations of the family lived and many of them are buried in Lamrumney Chapel in the St. Melons Church. Again, talking about him used in films and him made rum, Live and Let Die by Ian Fleming, a James Bond film that many know, actually talks about a treasure and the treasure in Ian Fleming's book is based on the treasure of the once fabulously wealthy pirate, Sir Henry Morgan. Now, Sir Henry Morgan, his family, the Morgans were of Tredegar, Tredegar House, which is a, a very famous stately home, part of the National Trust now. That's where the family originated, but they had this as well. Among, among other properties, they were a, a very wealthy, powerful family. This hall, though, was rebuilt back in 1852 and refurbished at around 1900, but at the time, it was owned by somebody called C.C. Williams, who became the last Lord of the Manor of Lan Rumney Hall. And there's a picture here of that. And you can imagine him there, doing the hunt, looking over to his land there. Imagine how beautiful it was, that 700 acre estate of him, of his. Known as Squire Williams, he was a typical country gentleman and a much respected local figure. Until 1951, apart from the Ball Farm and Mill Farm, and here's the Mill Farm, the hall was the only building of significance in the area.
So what was it that caused the demise of Lamrami Hall as a major home to families for generations? Well, Lamrami Hall in his parkland was sold by compulsory purchase to Cardiff City Council. Now, Squire Williams could have remained at the hall, but saddened at the loss of his land, he decided to leave and move to the Vale of Glamorgan. For a short while, in 1952, the house was used by the Cardiff Council as a remand centre. It was then bought out by Hancock's Brewery and converted into a public house. The land was used to provide new homes and as you see it spread over a great area and provided housing that was needed for many. In 2015 was Land Remney Community Trust Limited was established and since then the building has been developed into a multi-purpose community hub but still inside looks beautiful and still retains many of the old features when you look at the plaster ceilings etc. But that wasn't the end of the legacy of Henry Morgan. What happened to Henry Morgan? Well, Henry M Morgan was captured because he was uh, a threat to the Spanish King and then they saw peace with King Charles II. So King Charles II had him arrested, but later he was released. He was sent back to Jamaica as the governor of Jamaica. He was given a knighthood and he had great property. Now, what was interesting is he left the property to his wife in Jamaica. And if you were to speak to a Jamaican today and say Lan Rumney, you wouldn't think of the one here in Cardiff. No, but he would think of the one in the St. Mary region of Jamaica that is named Lan Rumney by Captain Henry Morgan. So his name and also his legacy and his land lives on over there in Jamaica.